What is up geocachers? This is Keys94 and welcome to another episode of Keys94's geocaching adventures. I am back in Chilliwack with my bike and we're gonna be finding some geocaches today so stay tuned. So folks, I'm at a geocache site right now and I've come across a very wet geocache, like really wet. I'm gonna quickly show you the container eventually, but um, I have thankfully brought my cache maintenance kit and I'm going to donate this into the geocache. Um, it already has my signature in it. I'm hoping that this logbook will stay as dry as it can um, for as long as possible. This happens and it's always good to have some spare logbooks on you. So here it is, folks. Um, it's in a bit of a sad state of affairs right now. Um, found this inside, and this was kind of one of the themes. So I'm gonna just leave this in the geocache. I'm going to add the baggie with my new logbook in. I'm gonna put it in here. And uh, I'm gonna actually leave this outside of the baggie because if I have it inside the bag, this is soaking wet and I'm not going to put this in the bag because it's just gonna cause condensation and make my replacement logbook wet. So I'm just gonna put all this stuff in here. I'm going to put a needs maintenance log on this cache for the cache owner to know to uh, check on it. Because um, it's a little sad seeing caches like this. Uh, when I found it, it was full of water, absolutely full of water. And you know, I can tell you right now, there are holes in this. If that, when it rains, this thing's gonna get soaked again. So I'm gonna let the cash owner know that this cache is in need of repair. On our way to another geocache, of course, at Island 22 Park in Chilliwack. Yeah, bud, got another geocache. Folks, I'm doing the Cashers Just Want to Have Fun Adventure Lab. Behind me is the Chilliwack Coliseum. Uh, this is the site of an Adventure Lab stage. I won't show you all the stages. You'll have to come out to Chilliwack to check out this awesome Adventure Lab. Super simple, just a great little scavenger hunt. What's uh, cool with this Adventure Lab is I can pretty much do it all on my bike. I don't even have to get off my bike to do this Adventure Lab, which is awesome. Okay, folks, I'm looking for another geocache here in Chilliwack. Let's see if we can find it. So I found it. Out of respect to the cash owner, I'm not going to divulge it because it's a really, really clever hide. It took me a very long time to find. It's in kind of central-ish Chilliwack. So geocaching has brought me to the back of this insurance place. I'm looking for a cache right now, and it's a large cache. There are photo hints on it that suggest that it is near a cedar tree, and the cedar tree is MIA. I do not know where it went. So I'm gonna check behind this tree and see if we can find it. So I found it. 
not even really at the base of that tree. Um, here it is. It looks like it had been muggled uh, by somebody. Well, the, log, the log book's gone. It's definitely looking like a geocache to me. Um, I'm just gonna have to put it back. Thankfully, I have spare log books so I can make it into a geocache. But that's what happens sometimes is that you just, you come across geocaches that might have been touched by, by non-geocache folk. So I'm gonna post a needs maintenance log on that cache because it clearly needs some TLC, but uh, that's what happens. And I'm glad that I brought my cache maintenance kit with me. So it's kind of hit and miss here in Chilliwack. A lot of DNFs, at least on the east side of the city. Um, right now I'm heading towards another geocache. Hopefully we will end the DNF, the DNF streak today. A lot of these caches, unfortunately, are near homeless camps. So quite honestly, I don't feel very comfortable searching uh, near a homeless camp. So I'm gonna try to find, um, I'm gonna hopefully try to find this geocache. It looks like it's pretty okay. So far, so good, we'll see. So the DNF streak lives on, folks. This area has been worked on. There's, looks like there's been some work with gravel and cement, and the hint says at the base of a cement barrier, and these things have definitely moved around since. Looked at some old photos, and the area was very different uh, before this came through. So I'm going to take a tentative assumption that the cache is a wall so gonna have to probably come back here and see what happens dnfs happen folks and honestly i've had so many dnfs it doesn't really phase me that much but it is frustrating after about maybe five six dnfs today in a row not fun um so hopefully i'll find a cache soon we'll see So it looks like it's turning out to be another DNF, folks. Uh, I'm, at the bait, I'm at the parking lot here. No luck. And uh, yeah, I honestly, I mean, it's one of these parking lot caches. Lamp post grid, I've checked it. Everything starting to rain. Again, this is probably DNF number seven in a row. Um, there's this phenomenon called uh, the, the DNF bug. And I think I've caught it finally today. Anyway. Well, upon further examination, I found it. And uh, you just have to be really stealthy in this parking lot because there are so many people around. Oh, well, found it, put it back. It's in a Walmart parking lot in Chilliwack and underneath its advertisement. Glad to find it. Folks, thanks so much for watching another episode of Keys 94's Geocaching Adventures in Chilliwack. It's good to be back, this time with the bike. And uh, it's starting to come down, it's starting to rain pretty good. The wind was pretty, was pretty strong. And uh, now I have to head back to Burnaby. But uh, thanks for watching. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button.